Welcome to Restoring Christine. Got a great episode for you today. It'll be short and sweet, but this one's going to be fun. I finally got to the point where I'm ready to paint Christine, and what we're going to do today is we're going to pick out some colors. So I've been to my paint supply shop. I got a sample of red and a sample of ivory that I think are going to be the winning colors, and I'm going to shoot some of that today on a sample panel, and then once we get that, we'll look at that against our interior, and that's what we're going to do today. So let's get into it. All right, so if you've been following along, Christine, I've been describing it as I've been rebuilding her over the past couple of years. Um, she's going to be more or less a resto mod. It's not intended to be an original restoration. She was not an originally red and white car. She was originally two-tone green. But when I bought her, she was always red and white. So my kids thought she looked like the, the movie car, Stephen King's Christine. So that's where she got her name. And we just affectionately called her Christine ever since. But about a year ago, a little more than a year ago now, I ordered my interior kit from Ciadella Interiors in Arizona. And my episode number 56 is the unboxing of that kit. But what I wanted to do with that kit was I didn't, I didn't want to hem myself in to, to, to be limited to only what the two-door sedans uh, came in. So uh, what, I, what I did was I worked out with Gina over at Ciadella and I said, look, I want the hard top style seat covers, um, but I've got a two-door two post. And uh, she worked with me on picking out some colors and some patterns. So the interior that I'm going with is a torch red and ivory, which was not available in the uh, two-door sedan. But that's what we got our seats and our, and our door, uh, door panels in. But then the cloth fabric that I picked out was from a 1958 Chevy Cameo, which is going to be really different and unique. So if you're interested in seeing what that looks like, go check out the video, number, um, episode number 56, where I unboxed it. But we're, we're going to put that one in in a few months. So now I'm picking out paint, and I've got to make that red and white match, or at least go with, coordinate with the red and white that's on the panel. So let's take a quick look at it. So this is the interior door panel. It's all brand new. Ciadella made this from scratch. So this is a torch red vinyl, and then it's, uh, I want to say 1957 um, ivory is what, what this is. They gave me new stainless, pleated the tops, New stainless on the bottom. Good looking panel. It's um, you know, really quality piece, but you can see the color. So what I did is I went to Mike and Jerry's, my paint supply store here in town, and I uh I looked at I looked at a number of different um colors, and the 1956 red that would have come in uh, from, from GM would have been Matador Red. And I'm not exactly a big fan of that color. I wanted something a little more bright, uh a little uh, with a little more pop. And uh, there's modern colors out there now that, if, you know, I wish cars were not so monochrome right now. But the one color that they do make right right now is red. So I've, I've got a sample of red that I'm going to show you uh, right now. All right, you guys are going to have to forgive me because I'm a bit under the weather. I've been this way for two weeks, but this is as good as I felt in two weeks. So you can hear I'm still a little nasally. All right, so the product that I'm using is Exalta. This is a, a rebranding of DuPont Performance Coatings. So Exalta, DuPont, DuPont also owns Emron. They're all from the same factory um, under the same, the same flagship brand. But that's what I'm using is basically this is a commercial a fleet um, uh, material. This is, uh, this is not anything fancy like House of Colors or anything else like that. But this is, this is just get her done, top quality, good stuff. Not not a lot of flash, just a lot of substance. So it's it's Exalta Rival. I've got two different colors. I got only I only bought four ounces of each. You can, you know, when you go to the paint store, they'll mix up just a little tiny amount. So this is four ounces of this red, and the red that I've decided to try is General Motors color, a Chevrolet color. Pull me over red. So pull me over red has maybe been available for about ten years or so. The current GM red, I believe, is called Torch Red. And I looked at that one too, and there's not an appreciable difference between the two that I can tell. So, take a look at that. I wanted something that was bright. I wanted it to be red towards the orange side of things and not, not bluish. So I definitely didn't want it a little on the blue side of red. I wanted it more towards the orange side of red. And so I think this is going to be the winner. So we're going to mix some of this up and we're going to spray this in just a second. And then the white that I got, the white that I got, let me actually shake this up a little bit. So the white that I bought was not 
a factory color per se. This is from this is from Exaltus Fleet Colors. So they had like literally 40 different colors of white that I could have picked from. And this is the version of vanilla that I picked. You can kind of see it's got a little bit of a a, a yellowish tint to it. It's not um it's it's this color hopefully will go against that that white that, that ivory that's on my interior. So I'm hopeful that when I spray this and the red, put them side by side together, they should look good. But I want to make sure that this ivory looks good against that interior because it's it's real easy to get two different colors that are supposed to be, you know, by name they're the same, but then when you start really looking at them, they've got different undertones and they look like two different things. So that's what I'm trying to avoid. So I'm going to shoot this and that on this panel. I got an 18 gauge panel that I sand, that I um, sanded down and primed with some primer and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shoot the white first. I'm going to stick it in the oven and let it bake for a little bit and then I'm going to mask it and then put a little bit of red on it and we're going to look at it in two-tone variety. So let's get her done. All right, I'm using my Eastwood detail gun. It's got a 1.0 tip on it, which is a little bit small for what we should be spraying this with, but I didn't want to um, open up my big gun. So let's see. Yeah, I can hear it kind of fighting the tip. So I'm using this. This is a single stage right now, but um, I'm still making up my mind as to what I want to do if I want to use a single stage or a two stage and hit it with a clear, or if I even want to use a single stage and then clear over it. I'm going to let that flash, and I'm going to come back and hit it with another coat. All right, let's hit it one more time. All right, I've had it in the oven for about 15 minutes or so just to bake it. Let's bring it over here to see what it looks like against my door panel. You know, door panel, this is a little more gray. But I think, I mean, so far, I'm liking that tone. I'm thinking that it, it's, it's definitely lighter. But I'm liking the tone. I really wish it was a sunny day, but it's not. I'd bring it outside and show you in the sun. But I think, I think... Maybe. I don't know. It might be a little bit on the pink side. We'll have to see. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll have to try a different ivory. I'm not quite sure. So let's see. Let's go ahead and I'm going to mask this off and I'm going to spray some red on it and see what it looks like in two-tone. It didn't. It's not as hard as it needs to be for me to, to, to mask over it, but I'm doing it anyway. I just want to get this done. And it's 1.0 tip on this gun. It's just not, not working out that well. But it's just a sample. Let me probably spray it with a 1.3 tip. Just let that flash and I'll hit it again. All right, second coat. Let that flash off and I'll peel the masking tape off and we'll take a look at it against the door panel. Ooh, that is pretty. All right, let's pull the tape off. It's going to stick a little bit to the ivory because I didn't let it cure fast enough or long enough. Oh, look at the candy stripes. Yeah, my tape kind of stuck. All right. Well, I really rushed this. I don't have a lot of time this morning, but there you go. Red and white. Let's see what that looks like against the door panel. Step back and look at it. 
I definitely think that's the right color red. Boy, you ought to see this in the sunshine. There's no sun today. I can't show it to you, but, but let's look at it from a different angle. I think those colors would work out fine. I do think this has got a little bit of, um, of a pinkish hue to it compared to this, which is a little more green. So I might, I might uh, try a different sample of, of the white, but I'm pretty sure I'm locked in on the red. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's hard to look at a video and see, but that's, that's what we're looking like. Man, can you imagine? That is going to be beautiful when it's done. All right, so there you have it. GM pulled me over red against the torch red interior and this generic ivory against the ivory color of the interior. Not quite sure I like the ivory, but I love the red. <laughs> we just need to get it right. We want to make sure it's right before we paint it, and that's coming up in the next few episodes. So tell you what, if you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up, and if you're enjoying the channel, I'd love a subscription. <laughs> Until I see you next time, please take care of yourself. Cheers.